we will learn about what is exception exception hierarchy what happens when exception occurs what is meant by throwing an exception exception call stack so what is an exception exception is an event that disrupts the normal execution of program now let's see exception hierarchy in java object comes always first after object in exception hierarchy it comes throwable throwable is further subclass into two parts one is error other is exception error are something that is caused due to system malfunction or system overhead error should not be cached exception are something that is internal to the application exception is subclassed further in runtime and checked exception checked exceptions are those exceptions that occur during the compilation phase runtime exceptions are those that occur during the runtime execution of the program runtime exceptions and error are commonly known as unchecked exception checked exception should be written in try cache we should provide a specific information to the user inside the cache block for the checked exception examples of error are stack overflow error out of memory error examples of runtime exception are null pointer exception arithmetic exception examples of checked exception are file not found exception sql exception so what happens when an exception occurs whenever an exception occurs exception object is created what exception object holds whenever an exception object is created exception object contains information about exception it includes exception type and state of program with exception occurs what is meant by throwing an exception when we say throwing an exception we are creating an exception object and handing it off to the runtime system for finding proper handler to the exception whenever runtime system find proper handler it try to execute the code written inside that handler now we will see exception call stack let's suppose we have a main method inside main method we are calling another method dem method1 and method1 have an exception handler inside main method1 we are calling method2 method2 does not have an exception handler inside method2 we are calling method3 method3 does not have an exception handler and inside method3 we are calling method4 when an exception occurred so our program flow will go from main to method1 to method2 to method 3 and finally method 4 will an exception occurred so what will happen if method 4 does not found a suitable handler it will trace back to method 3 and look for a suitable handler but in case here we do not have any exception handler so again tracing back to method 2 till a proper exception handler is found we will find a proper exception handler in case of method 1 so what will happen really our program flow execution goes from method 1 to method 2 method 3 and 4 finally and trace back to method 4 to method 3 to method 2 until an exception handler is found this is all about exception and exception call stack